Okay, so I want to make this video today because um, it's just been something um, I seen yesterday that I just needed to get off my chest. So yesterday when I left work, I was waiting at the bus stop and this car pulls up and it just, you know, stopped at the the bus stop that I was at doesn't really have anything there. So the car is stopping at that spot. You know, I'm assuming they were stopping to check the car. Whatever. So anyways, a girl gets out the car and she proceeds to head toward the store, which is like a whole block away, um, which threw me off. And then her boyfriend proceeds to get off the passenger seat. And he heads to the store. It looks like nothing's up. She looked like she in a rush. Don't know why she parked an entire block away. Um, and everything seemed fine until he got up to her. And then she started cussing him out, like going off on him. And she asked him to get away from her. And he got mad and he said words. And she... You know, she yelled some shit back. They was trying to be quiet. But then he, then I don't know what he did because he kept like, well, just give me a hug. And she was like, I don't want to give you a hug. I want you to get away from me. And she said, because um, you punched me in my face. Why would I want to hug you right now? Like you punched me in my face. So I don't want your hugs. So he proceeded. Um to continue to try to hug her and prevent her from going to the store or pretty much prevent her from walking away, which is like a block away. Um, and she was visibly upset. She kept asking him, please leave me alone. Please just let me go this way. You know what I'm saying? Just leave me alone. I don't want to be touched. I don't want to be, I damn sure don't want to be hugged. I don't want you to put your hands on me, period. Like you just fucking struck me in the face. I don't want you to put your hands on me no more. Um, and you know, he proceeded to continue to do it. He continued to like, he, it was to the point that he grabbed her like by, like with her arms pressed down and lifted her up. Like he picked her up off the ground and tried to make her go back to the car. Both of these people are grown. Um, like very early twenties, very early twenties. Um, at the youngest, I would give them like 19, but just from the looks of it, they probably like 21, 22, maybe. Um, but it really bothered me because I was with my boyfriend, um, and, you know, we were waiting on the bus together, we had to go uh, check on our car, which is in the shop. And I noticed that he started getting hype. Like he was really getting hype where he was getting mad because she didn't want to listen to what he was saying. And he was getting really, really mad because she didn't want to listen to him. She was crying. She was upset. She was clearly embarrassed. And she had just recently got punched in the face, so she was hurting. And he was more upset that she wasn't listening to him talk. Even though he was able to talk and she could hear him talk, she just didn't want to be touched. And he was getting really mad. And I was telling my boyfriend, I said, see, I said that right there lets you know that he wasn't raised correctly. Because from what we can see and who knows what happened in the car but i mean she said what happened in the car she got punched in the face which is why she got out the car um who can control your emotions that much that you start acting like a damn fool and you revert back to being a child because you're not getting your way um what really got me is that she said please leave me alone he kept saying, no, just let me talk to you. He kept trying to force her to talk to him, which I thought was crazy that she couldn't be asked to be left alone. And he looked at the situation like, you're not going to be left alone until I'm ready to leave you alone. And I don't want you to go away and get yourself together and calm down. I want to be in control so I can monitor every single thing that you do. Because then she started to go back to her car. He chased her back to the car and held the door so that she couldn't get into the car. Then she proceeded to say, please get away from my car. And if you don't, I'm going to call the police. The boy went from, oh, baby, give me a chance. Just let me talk to you to pulling up his pants and starting to square up with this girl. 
This girl who's been crying this whole time, clearly she's not fighting you back because she doesn't want to fight you. She wants to get away to safety. And the first thing he did when she said she was going to call the police to, if he didn't leave her alone, instead of saying, you know what, let me walk the fuck away, was no, now I'm finna square up and beat you up now. Because now you done made me mad because you said some words, okay, that I could have avoided. And... <clears throat> Um, and, and, the, oh, and then proceeded to chase her around the car, to chase her around the car, um, when she started calling someone and asking her, who are you calling? Who are you calling? So that just let her know that all the things that he was saying when he just wanted to talk to her, he ain't talk yet. All he wanted to do was make sure that he was in control of what she was listening to. Um, if I'm not in complete control and I don't have your undivided attention, I can't say any words. Um... If you walk away from me and I don't have your undivided attention, I can't say any words and I'm angry now. <clears throat> and there's nothing wrong with being angry. There's nothing wrong with having arguments. You know what I'm saying? Nothing wrong with it at all. But I think it's fucking crazy that this grown ass um, young man was in his feelings so much that he wouldn't allow his girlfriend to walk away and get herself together because his ego wouldn't permit it. You know what I'm saying? Like, his ego is what made him continue to act the way he was. And I know for a fact by the way he was acting. And he kept looking up at me and my boyfriend. Because I was getting, I was visibly upset. Like, what the fuck? He better not put his hands on her in front of me. Because I'm going to go over there and, and fucking smash his face into the ground. If he does that. And then that's going to be another problem. But the fact that her being upset... And wanting to get away from the situation where she was well within her right. And him not being able to accept that lets you know that he wasn't raised correctly. And this is what happens <clears throat> to our boys who are raised. Um, and not even saying who are raised by only females. Because I don't know who the fuck he was raised by. But what I do know is that whoever raised him didn't... Um, give him examples of what a healthy argument looked like didn't give him examples of you are more entitled you are completely entitled to your opinion you are entitled to be upset that is cool you can be upset you can be angry you could want to choke somebody out but the fact that somebody else is able to control your emotions to the point that you have to act on it because you feel like you've lost all self-control of your body um if you act like that, you shouldn't be, you know, permitted to be a grown up. You should just stay being a kid because you still have a lot more learning to do. Um, let me take these off because that glare is bothering me. Um, you have a lot more learning to do. And it's it was ridiculous. Like, it was really ridiculous because really his problem was I'm having a temper tantrum right now. Because she's not listening to me. So instead of walking away from this situation. Because both of us can walk away from the situation right now. And come back when we're doing. We're calmed down. When we're able to talk. Instead. I'm going to make it. 50 times bigger than what it is. Even if that means. This girl runs back into this car. And speeds off and crashes. Even if it means this girl runs out into the street trying to get away from me and potentially gets hit by a car not knowing that she's finna jump out or a bus that was I was waiting for. Even if that means let me grab her so hard and drag her that I make a mistake and, you know, hurt her really bad while trying to restrain her for whatever reason. Because it wasn't any reason for her to be restrained at all. There was no reason for her to be restrained. There was no reason why that girl couldn't get um out of her car and walk down the block. Okay, like, I'm going to need y'all to teach your sons that if a girl wants to step the fuck away and remove herself from a hostile and toxic situation, she is well within her rights. Okay, um... I'm going to need y'all to really teach your sons that because they have a girlfriend, they don't have property. Um, your sons who are married because they have wives, they don't have property. Like, females are not y'all's property, like, at all. And it's, it worries me because I see it all the time, especially, you know, with us. 
You know what I'm saying? I see it all the time with us boys getting their feelings and they want to fight their girlfriends because their girlfriend's crying. That's not going to make her stop crying. That's going to make her, she's going to continue to cry. You know what I'm saying? She's upset. She's mad. And if she's a crier, she's going to continue to cry. And then if you hurt her, that's not going to make her stop crying. I mean, everybody knows that. You have a crying child and the mother tells the kid, I'm going to give you something to cry about. But you already gave me something to cry about, which is why I'm crying right now. The fuck? If you tell me to shut up or I'm going to beat your ass, it's not going to make me stop crying. It's going to make me scared. It's going to make me cry more and I'm just going to get my ass beat and I'm just going to cry longer. But the fact, the fact is... You saying that is not going to change how I feel. Just like him saying, but let me talk to you because I want to talk to you is not going to change the fact that she wanted to be left alone at that moment. And she should have been left alone at that moment. She should have been able to get out her car and walk away because she's grown. She's grown and she's in control of her body. And you made her feel like she wasn't in control of her body. She wasn't in control of what happens to her. But then you want to empower females and let them know that if other dudes do stuff like that then they have a right to defend themselves and be in control like my thing is she said she was going to call the police on you because she wanted you to get away she never called the police she ended up getting on the phone and either calling like one of her friends or pretending to call someone she said it as a warning because she wanted you to get away from her why didn't you just walk the fuck away from her you had your shoes, you had your phone, you had all the stuff that you needed. You could have walked down the street. Or you could have just went to the store. You could have said, okay, you know, if I, since I'm forcing you to talk to me because I still am treating you like you were my property, at least let's walk and talk and I won't touch you. And every time you ask me not to touch you, I will respect your boundaries. And I will take my motherfucking hands off you because that's really what she wanted. Her, her boundaries were not respected at all. It was like, bitch, you don't get to have boundaries. Only I get to have them and I get to control what yours are. Um, and that's really my point of this rant is y'all need to stop. You, you boys, you young guys, y'all need to stop trying to be in control of everybody else's body except for your own. How are you going to call yourself controlling somebody else's emotions when you don't have your own attack? You don't have your own emotions intact. You can't get yourself together, but you want to run somebody else. Like, what is you even doing? And then y'all bring kids into this world, and that's what you teach them. Like, because you already didn't have a good example of what a healthy relationship and a healthy argument is. And then you have a small child, and you teach them that, hey, if I'm a boy, whenever I get mad, everyone needs to bow down to what I'm angry about until I can calm down. And I'm within my right to act like a spoiled fucking baby. And if you're a girl, the only time that you're entitled to have control of your body and be in control of you as a person and a human is if you're single. Because if you're in a relationship with someone, you know what I'm saying, he's the one in charge. So if you get mad, oh well. If you feel like you need to remove yourself from the situation, oh well. If you feel like you want someone to respect your boundaries and you don't want to be physically touched, oh well. That's crazy to me. And y'all need to get it the fuck together because if not, we gonna be done as a race real soon. <laughs>